Hey there guys and welcome back to Nimby Rails. You're probably wondering why we've started zoomed in on the Isle of Dine when we built the whole of the Ports of the Direct Line last time. And well, I, I've got a confession, I, I've been playing this in my own time. Um, I've, I've done quite a, quite a bit. Uh, basically, it, it became clear that at the rate I was going, it was going to take decades to finish the UK recording everything. But playing in my own time in the evenings has sped that up quite a bit, so we now have the whole of SWR, the whole of Southern, the whole of the London Underground and most of the London Overground, the whole of Chiltern, and West Midlands Railway up in Birmingham. So I've also built the track for South Eastern, but I've not placed any of the trains for it yet, I've not set up any of the routes. This is, I think, poss uh, uh, profitable. I, I don't know, I, it's a bit difficult to tell because obviously I've been building a lot, so obviously that day had track costs. This day was just running costs and maintenance, and I made 60 million profit. So the, the game, this setup is profitable, as it is. Uh, I think the vast majority of routes are now set to a price of five plus 0.05 per kilometre which seems to work pretty well and yeah it's been a couple of updates to the game since I last recorded namely it's a bit easier to set up routes now it's a bit easier to find your trains in your long list of trains um, the accounting menu's changed the map overlay menu's changed it's all quite nice um, I've not turned on all my mods yet. I've updated the mod list that I link in the description with all these mods, I've just not turned them on yet. Now they're on. I, I browse the, the, the workshop and any time I see a new modern UK train appear, I download it. Um, it gets added to my mod list and I add it to the game. The game also lags quite a bit with London Underground so I tend to play with it paused. <laughs> Well, I'm actually setting stuff up. So today's job is... I've sort of... I've built all of the track for South Eastern. So I've got two options for today. One is to try and build the whole Romney Height and Dimchurch Railway. Which will be difficult because I don't really know where it goes. It's not easy. I know. I can tell where it is in Dimchurch. Kind of, I think. I did find it at one point. Although I've lost it again now, so that was that was what there it is. I reckon that's the station in Dimchurch, but I couldn't tell you where it is in Romney. I reckon it comes up here, maybe in not Romney, you oh uh, hi, it comes in like this, maybe up here, round the top, maybe into there, possibly or further in. Who knows, I'd have to look at a map. I think it's probably... I'm, I'm not in a position to do that right this second. The other option is to just set up some routes for Southeastern. I think that's probably the preferred option. I've also got to set up the uh, Spa Valley Railway. And any other heritage railways that I know of in Kent, which is none. I know there are some, but I don't know where they are. I've also got the uh, Fogstone... Eurotunnel terminal, which is a bit of a mess because yeah, there's a lot of roads marked on the map here, so I've kind of had to do tunnels into it just to get the track in. And I've started the channel tunnel out across, gets to the middle of the channel ish. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, I want to get Eurostar in, but I'll probably just do out to Calais Eurotunnel for now. And if I finish the UK, I might expand into France and start doing French railways. We'll see how I feel in three months' time. Um, so yeah, I think today's job is probably going to be a mess of trying to work out Southeastern service patterns. So I'm just going to go and look up on Wikipedia what their current service pattern is, because I don't know. Um, we're probably going to be starting with the Central London Metro Services, I think, he says. 
they're at the bottom of the list, so that's I've, I've chosen the worst way to start, but apparently that's what we're doing. So first things first. Line. Yes, lines. I need a new line. It's going to be prefixed SE for southeastern. And we're going Victoria to Orpington, which I think is ORP. Set the price. Choose a colour. Uh, southeastern is sort of sort of that blueish, kind of. And we can copy and paste colours now. That was something I mentioned last time I was recording. <laughs> the uh, how helpful it would be to be able to do that. Now we can. And then we add stops. So, out of Victoria. The first stop is Brixton. Uh, down here. Hearn Hill. West Dulwich. Sydenham Hill. Pengeast. Kent House. I don't really know how the platforms work at Kent House. Beckenham Junction. Shortlands. I think we come into this track at Shortlands, weirdly. Bromley South, Bickley, Petswood. Wow, it's not liking that. Orpington, Petswood, Bromley South. What are you doing there? There are alternative options. Like the correct one. Okay. After Bickley, we have a waypoint here. Yeah, I'm going to argue that's possibly not helped. One there, move it up one. That has helped. Okay, and then after Petswood, we also have waypoints. One here. And one here. Still not really working, is it? Why are you insisting on going up here? Why could you not just turn right? Why are you broken? Why do you want to go to Chislehurst and back? Is it going to be worth messing about with this a little bit? Probably not, but apparently I am now. As much as I think it goes on the top lines, it might be worth trying to bring it down the bottom. Just in an effort to actually get it across to Petswood. I'd really like to bring it across to the other platform of Petswood. Well, that works now. Perfectly happy with it now. Fair enough, then. I won't complain. I'm sure there's something in there that makes it want to do that. Shortlands, Beckenham Junction, Hearn uh, Hill, Kent House, Penge East, Sydenham Hill, West Dulwich. Here's Hearn Hill, I knew it was somewhere. Brixton, and back into Victoria. Now, I don't know what train I'm going to use on this yet. I have quite an option, quite a lot of options now. I think I probably want the three seven seven. Right, so it's technically it's going to be run by a, a four six five or a three seven five in real life. A four six five according to the uh, page on Wikipedia, which I don't have. But what I do have is the three seven seven somewhere there. It's textured completely wrong, but I have it. Oh, this has changed. This is new. Um, I want eight of them. Not really, I want six. Make an eight-car train totem. Um, a 377 is operationally very similar to a 375. I don't know what the difference there is. Um, so it should give it pretty much the same representation is 375 which is what's used on the long distance for southeastern so it's what I'm going to be using for the rest of southeastern. 161 kilometers an hour so we'll put that in here estimate the travel times the min stop time 
we just edit around 10 to 40 seconds to try and get a nice number. We need it to be every 30 minutes, so getting that close to only 30 seconds, getting it close to one and a half hours would be nice. That'll do. We'll probably have them wait to Orpington because there's plenty of terminating platforms there to use. We're going to need to double up on the platforms at Victoria. 30 minute interval at Orpington. And that should work nicely. So I need one at naught, one at half past, one at one. And then, then they'll have done a full loop by then. So three trains will need to operate this. So I'll buy one, put it on the route, which is quite the way down. Oh, I think it's above southern. There we go, southeastern. Clone it. Two more. There we go. I've worked out the optimal way to make trains now. That's one route done. Off to a good start. Next on the list, Cannon Street to Hayes. Um, this is going to test my knowledge of three-letter codes. I highly doubt it's CST. If I'm wrong with these, I'll just come in later uh, off-camera and fix them. I'm just guessing at the moment. Cannon Street is here. London Bridge, I would assume, yes. New Cross. Not New Cross Gate, New Cross. And it does actually do sensible routing, which is nice. St John's. Uh, presumably does come into Lewisham. Nicely. Uh, Ladywell. Catford Bridge. Lower Beckenham. Oh, no, Lower Sydenham. New Beckenham. Clock House. Elmer's End. I should have to zoom into. We've got the trams in place, so there's a bit of connection going on there. Add into Hayes. And then back out. Eden Park. Elmer's End. Clock House. New Beckenham. Lower Sydenham. Out of Bridge. Ladywell. Lewisham. St John's. Not that platform at New Cross. That's the overground platform. Up to London Bridge and back into Cannon Street. Set the route times. Bulk edit the intervals. And then I'm going to need three trains for it. And we're going to have you turn around with an interval at Hayes. Yeah, okay, so sometimes it's a bit laggy with the typing. And select the route. Uh, it was there, I saw it. Southeastern. Street of Hayes, clone with two trains, and that's two routes set up. I'll probably do a, th I can easily do Grove Park just to Bromley North, so <laughs> that's a really quick one. Uh, Southeastern Grove, I guess, to Bromley North. Again, guesses, I'll fix them later. I think Bromley North might actually be right. Uh, Grove Park, Sandwich Park, Bromley North, Sandwich Park, Grove Park. And I didn't want Grove Park twice. That was a bad idea. Let's take that. Now, this runs every 20 minutes, it was three an hour. I can run it with one train. Uh, Every 20 minutes out of. Well, if I have a, a yeah, max 20 minute interval out of both, but if I give it a 5 minute wait at either end, just to try and spread out the service a bit. Um, yeah, like that. There we go. Uh, so now I just need the one train to operate that. New one. Southeastern Grove Park to Bromley North. And if I just set the game to playing at A speed, which it's going to struggle with, it really does not like playing. Uh, I kind of have to play it in real time or not try and do anything else on the computer, which is a little unfortunate. 
Well, already we've got eight people waiting here, and the only places they can go are probably North and Sandwich Park. <laughs> so it's really worth it. Um, and the coverage in central London is brilliant. Like some of these station coverage areas are tiny because there's so many stations. Got this weird little bit of park that's not covered. And this this happens a lot in places like Richmond. Yep, you don't want to go for Richmond Park anywhere. This area of Dulwich does not get served. <laughs> it's it's always interesting ones like this this weird bit of I guess Brixton. It just sort of go round it. So you you kind of got to be cautious, but generally, like the, the vast majority of London is covered by the actual network. It's quite good to see. Uh, we should have we've got trains coming out of Cannes Street. Obviously, they, because I've set their gap time at the other end, that we're going to run one behind the other to the other end of the line, and then spread out. But they will spread out eventually. I did similar with a lot of the services on the Brighton Main Line. They have spread out now, although I've got stuff sharing platforms on the Main Line, which isn't ideal, because Gatwick Express now has to wait 21 minutes. This train behind it could probably be leaving in three. But that's that's just the way it is. I hadn't realised quite how busy the coastway, uh, West Coastway was. Especially around Fort and Barnum, because you've got services going Littlehampton to Bognor Regis, you've got Littlehampton to Portsmouth, Brighton to Portsmouth, Horsham to Portsmouth, and Southampton. It gets very busy along this part of the coastway. I think there's a Bognor Regis to Brighton as well, if I'm not mistaken. Who knows? There's currently two trains waiting at Bognor Regis, and a third one on its way down. Um. A lot of times when building I've had to use sort of tiny viaducts to cross over these crossovers. That made sense. Just because you can't actually just cross over on level in this game. I'd have to have done points and then it would have been a bit awkward and it would have always tried to route the wrong way, so viaducts was the easiest way to go. Just have to accept it. Portsmouth's cleared out finally. I had a real issue with Portsmouth Harbour previously. Constantly full of trains. It finally sorted itself out. Southampton, less so. Quite a few trains trying to use the terminal platform. I've got very few things actually going through Southampton at the moment. Because cross country isn't in yet and GWR isn't in yet. So everything sort of ends up using the top platforms that I use for terminating. But oh well. Well, I think that's a that's a good demonstration of what I've been doing. Um, we've got quite a bit done. It is clearly profitable. I don't know if I'm going to do the rest of the southeastern services off camera or on camera. I'm not sure what what's best to record. Whether it's the, the building, the service making, or any other things that I've forgotten about aspects of this game. I'll probably be building, I don't know, a potentially C2C next or GWR, I can't decide which. Um, C2C would be quite a quick one to build, maybe I'll do that one on camera. So out of Fenchurch Street to South End, I mean, that's basically it, there's very little to it. Um, so that might be next time, or I might just do some more Southeastern services next time, we'll see. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.